Welcome to Take Jotters. In the previous video, I showed you how to install CUDA, uh, NVIDIA graphics driver, CUDA toolkit, and Tensorality, and how to copy uh, CUDA neural network files like CUDNN on the appropriate folder and everything, how to configure them. So in today's video, I will show you how you can install TensorFlow with GPU and PyTorch with GPU with CUDA, okay? So let's get started. First, uh, we'll go to the TensorFlow um, website. So let's search. Okay, here is the TensorFlow. And if you click on the install, you can see the installation process is here. And let's uh, go start the command prompt. Okay, so in the previous video, I also showed you how to install Miniconda. Uh, Miniconda is installed here, and I installed the Miniconda Python 3.10 version. So I will go with that. So if I type Python, you can see the Python 3.10.14 is here. So if you don't have the Python installed, please install the Python. And you can also follow the previous tutorial how to install the Miniconda uh, 3.10, okay? So I keep all the files inside the ML directory I created. So I'm going to my directory and that is inside the C folder. So the command I need to go to the C. So these dots are actually going back to the directories. And here I can, I'm going in the C directory. And now I'm going inside the ML directory and inside the ML directory. So this is the directory. You can see the, okay, so sorry, the PWOD command is for Linux, not Windows. Okay, I'm inside the C and ML. And inside the ML folder, I have another ML folder. And here I will create a uh, Conda uh, environment for my all ML works inside that ML uh, environment, I will install PyTorch, I will install uh, TensorFlow, everything, okay? So let's create the uh, environment with the name of ML. So command is conda create minus minus name ML. So uh, environment name is ML and I want to install the Python 3.10. That's it. If I click enter, it will create the uh, Python environment. That's it. So let's activate this. So the ML environment is activated. You can see here. Now we will install the TensorFlow. Now here is the uh, command for installing TensorFlow, but I want to use the CUDA. So I'm going to the pip package option. And here you can see the different options, how you can install this. I'm going with the Windows native right now. So in Windows native, the 2.10 was the last TensorFlow release that is supported the native Windows. After that, we need to install WSL2, okay? So here I'm installing it on the Windows. So this is the native Windows. I need to follow this one. And I can install up to TensorFlow 2.10, not uh, the latest ones, okay? So uh, the first command is to conda install the conda CUDA toolkit and CUDNN. It will install inside the environment, okay? So let's install it in our environment. So it will not affect your regular Python, okay? Because I create the environment and I am I activated the environment and installing everything inside that environment. So that's great. Okay, so this is done. The next thing is to install Python less than 2.11, okay? So copy this and paste it here. Okay, so our TensorFlow is installed. Okay, so let's uh, run this command so that I can see uh, whether it is getting the GPU or not. Just copy and paste this. Yes, you can see the physical uh, device GPU 0 and device type is GPU. So it is actually working with GPU. Uh, now install the PyTorch. So let's start with PyTorch. 
and if I click on the get started I can see that the version here so if you remember if you can see here I installed CUDA tool 8 11.2 uh, inside this environment so I'm going with the 11.8 let's see whether it can work or not because our global uh, CUDA library is 11.8 let's uh, install it okay so uh, our PyTorch is installed so let's check with this okay let's go to the Python start Python here now let's import torch okay so let's put the second command that is is would I available and it's true so our uh, GPU is working for both PyTorch and TensorFlow that's great So I'm installing uh, JupyterLab and IPyKernel inside this uh, ML uh, environment so that I can use this completely separately from my other environment and use this for my development purpose, okay? So those are installed. Now, what I want to do is uh, I already created an environment, right? And here I create this environment is support both TensorFlow and PyTorch. Both are installed and both are configured for GPU. So I want to put a name for this kernel with the ipykernel ipy command. So the command is python minus m ipykernel install minus minus name. The name I want to use ML and the display name should be ML. Okay, when I uh, start Jupyter Lab, it should show me this option for the kernel. So let's configure it. Okay, so it's done. Let's start Jupyter Lab with this command. So when I try to install the Jupyter Lab, it is showing me the issue, some issue. So let's uh, try to solve that. It is not. It says no module name char dead. So let's uh, try to install it. Okay, and I'm actually uh, searching the. forums because I never faced this problem before let's see if it's it can solve our problem yes now it's working that's great so our Jupyter lab is started and you can see there is the uh, ML thing. So let's uh, start the ML kernel. And here, let's just uh, copy these commands and see if it's working or not. So if I uh, try this, this is now working. Again, let's uh, check this one or TensorFlow. I'm not sure whether it will create some problem because I'm importing both, but it should work perfectly. And it is working perfectly. So uh, you can see on Jupyter Lab we can also use the uh, Torch and TensorFlow and both are using GPU. So that's all for today. In this tutorial, I showed you how to install TensorFlow natively on Windows. Uh, with GPU and also PyTorch with GPU and we installed uh, Jupyter Lab as well as IPyKernel to select the kernel and everything is working perfectly and our Torch and TensorFlow both are using GPU so this is a complete setup for the ML development environment okay now in this environment you can walk, like practice the TensorFlow uh, Torch everything so I uh, hope you like this video and if you like this please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel and videos and it will help me to grow this channel further and thank you and have a good day.